breakfast. Sharon Osborne's been snapped out and about this week, sporting baggier clothing than normal. And the papers have suggested that she may have chosen this outfit to hide what they reckon is a bit of recent weight gain. Hmm. They've also questioned whether the outfit does, in fact, flatter her figure. So, how confident do you think you are when it comes to dressing your particular body shape and which of the bits you prefer to hide well i think firstly lay off sharon osborne well I okay quite agree. you know yeah, she exactly. looks fab no matter great. what she's yeah. a great person and leave her alone secondly yes i have put a bit of beef back on but you know what beef back on. i have <laughs> <laughs> put a bit of beef i have put a bit of beef back on it's them pies it's them pies no it's the wine that goes with the pies as well <laughs> <laughs> but you know i know now you know i am getting older I'm, and I'm 32 now, as everybody knows. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not fair. And I can't do it all and enjoy my life and, you know, and, and I've got time to... I've got well. mm. You know, and I'm, I just don't care no. as much as I did before. Mm. And, OK, I'm not, I'm not an 8, 10 anymore. I'm more of a 10, 12, 14. <laughs> 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 Getting bigger by the day. <laughs> but uh, but you know, how confident are you in the type of clothes for you to choose, whatever size you are? Well, I think you just have to know what suits you. You know, and, yeah. and yes, I can't fit into my size 8 and my 10 suits anymore. Yeah. So yeah. I've just bought a bigger size. Oh, and I bet Ed yeah. likes you in whatever you put on, don't you? Well, he, or yes, off. I'll get off, yeah. <laughs> the tighter the better for him. But, um, uh, yeah, but my mother's... <laughs> hello. hello. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> Anyway, uh, my mother's got the same problem, but it's opposite to her. She's lost weight, yeah. but she still thinks she's uh, uh, what the weight that she was when she was her oh. biggest. So I'll say, Mum, you are not that size anymore. You're three sizes smaller. But she, she still goes That's for the big... That's hiding things, That's though, right, yeah. see, and as I said... Is that your should... mum, Jean? Yeah, my mother, Jean. Like my mum, Jean. You've she's got the a... incredible yeah. shrinking woman at the moment. So you she's see? Got, yeah, Is she's everyone's mum in Yorkshire called Jean? Yeah. 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 We're, we're, it's and we're compulsory. That's right. It's absolutely And we've got brothers called Anthony. No. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, let's don't, not don't go start. there, Lisa. Let's not go there. But I know what you mean, because you're saying you're putting a bit of beef on. Well, I've been, like, size 8, size 16, when I was in my 30s, which was only just like yesterday. <laughs> and, um, and when I had Kate, I couldn't lose the weight for years and years and years. And then I went on this detox thing and lost all the weight. But when I was bigger, I did the standard black trousers on countdown. I had one pair of black trousers that I must have worn 400 times. Oh, wow. And different colour jackets, which were even louder than Richard Whiteley's. They were just like, you know, and that's saying something, let me tell you. So that was the standard thing. And then when I lost all this weight, I thought, well, I've now I've got my shape back to what I remember it was, which is basically slightly large, go in, huge on the bottom, so it goes like, like that. And uh, <laughs> bit, <laughs> do you remember when Penny Everett used to do... Oh, Rod yeah. Stewart, yeah. and he had that expanded leopard print yeah. leggings, yeah. and the bottom got bigger and bigger. Yeah. That's me, he modelled it on it me. It was based on you. <laughs> it absolutely <laughs> modelled on me. So, um, so I, if I don't get things that go in at the waist, clothes that go in at the waist, then I just look like a sack of spice. Yeah, I think foundation. Go. Women used to have foundations, didn't they? Foundation right. garments. Yes, and yes, not foundation where they're stuck in the ground or anything. <laughs> <laughs> And they used to be, you know, and we've got those big knickers now, and I think that's what matters as well, isn't it? When, you, when you've got bits that, you know, lardy, yes. lardy and beefy bits. Thanks, Shelley, yes, for pointing. <laughs> <laughs> But the thing is, though, I think it's important. I think what's difficult is, is, is as you get older as well, people always say to you, oh, can't wear that at your mm. age, you know. And Mountain that really annoys well. you. I remember Silla saying yeah. to me when she did, Silla Black did uh, yeah. the show, and she said to me, well, I never wear a dress above my knee. And that's really stuck with me. Oh. And I thought, oh, no, you can't wear a dress. But you've and got Carol said, oh, you do, you do. I know, but it's really, you know when people say things to you, because mm -hmm. I do like my legs. Oh, no. They're very, you long. They're, they're very they're long, yes. and I like my back, but that's it. What do you do with the rest of it? <laughs> You've got a very good decolletage. I've got some decolletage. I can't say it. You have got yeah. Yeah. Mine's a bit creased because I sleep on my front. <laughs> oh, true. See, that's been oh, like that. that no, I've got to tell you about this thing. You can buy it on Tinternet, everything on Tinternet, and it's like a piece of... Uh, foam and it goes like that and it goes in there and it goes like that and you sleep in it. Oh. It's like an inside out yeah, but have you not got and you don't get the crease Something thing. to put in it. Well, yes, but have you noticed know, Carol and I at the opposite <laughs> ends? Yeah, but you know, I know you're going to hate me. I don't have them bits to kind of hide. Yes, we know. I have to put bits on. Because yeah. you know, I'm a bit like a boy, I'm a bit straight up and down. It must be very so. difficult to dress you. Well, I find <laughs> uniform sales at school are very <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Imagine you in a, tax, in 
a maxi dress. <laughs> uh, It'd be like a wheel. She'd be like, oh, yeah, it would be like, uh, uh, like a small pet that had crawled under a curtain and was running across the car. <laughs> Confident in what you buy. Um, I've got confident now because I know lovely. that I can't. This is good because it's sort of fitted. So yeah. because I'm small, I have to wear fitted things. Anything that's in voluminous, I just look ridiculous <laughs> in it. And everything I get, I have to take up. So I'm constantly on the lookout for small things. So but I've got a bit of a thing because every time I go shopping and I say to Paul and Bo, I had to buy it because it was small. So they, they finished the sentence for me now. You have to buy it, yes, because it was because small. It small. Yeah. Because it's hard to get things that aren't children's clothes to fit yeah. people like me. Oh. Yeah. Must yeah. be a really difficult oh, thing well. to do. Different shapes, different clothes. But I think we're all happy, aren't we? Yeah. 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 We are happy, aren't we? So. Okay, and good luck to Sharon.